So the last type of factoring that we're going to learn is factoring a difference or sum of perfect cubes. Um, so there's some cubes you need to know. So 1 to the third power is 1, 2 to the third power is 8, 3 to the third power is 27, 4 to the third power is going to be 64, 5 to the third power is 125, and 6 to the third power is 216. Oops. So that's how you need to recognize the perfect cubes. So in this case, we have 125 and negative 8u to the third. So these are perfect cubes, which means that instead of having two rows and two columns, we're going to have two rows and three columns because this is a degree 3. And what's going to happen is these two terms are going to be like terms and they're going to have to cancel out because we don't see anything in the middle. And these two also will cancel out. So first, this is a perfect cube, which means that it's 5 times 25. So it's always going to be uh, what's being cubed on this side. <clears throat> and then the leftover number, which is 25. So 5 times 25 is the 125. Negative 8u to the third. Um, negative 2u is being cubed, so that's what goes here. And then we're just going to work backwards. So <clears throat> this right here will be negative 50u. And I know that these two terms have to cancel out, so this has to be positive 50u, which means that if this is 5, this right here has to be 10u. And then this has to be negative 20u squared. It has to cancel with this term, positive 20u squared, which all works out. So <clears throat> our answer for the area in factored form is going to be 5 minus 2u times 25 plus 10u plus 4u squared. Over here we have 8a to the third minus 1. So to get 8a to the third, I had to cube 8a, sorry, 2a, which means that this has to be 4a squared. Um, I cubed negative 1 to get negative 1, <coughs> so this has to be negative 1 and 1. And then we're going to work backwards. This is negative 4a squared, which has to cancel with a positive 4a squared. If this is 2a, and this has to be 2a in order to for me to get 4a squared. Negative 2a has to cancel with 2a. And then we're all done. So our answer in factored form for this is going to be 2a minus 1 times 4a squared plus 2a plus 1. We're factoring 27x to the third plus 1. So I cubed 3x to get 27x to the third, and I cubed 1 to get 1, which means that this has to be 9x squared, and this has to be 1. These terms have to be canceling out, so we're going to start working backwards. Negative, oh sorry, 9x squared has to cancel with negative 9x squared, which means that this has to be negative 3x. This would be negative 3x, which would have to cancel with positive 3x. Everything works out if we double check. So this is our factored form. It's 3x plus 1 times 9x squared minus 3x plus 1. This is our last example. <clears throat> so we have 216 and 125x to the third. What do we cube to get to 16? We cubed a 6, and to get 125x to the third, we cubed 5x. So this has to be 36 in order to give us 216, and this has to be 25x squared. We're going to work backwards. <clears throat> 5 times 36 is going to be 180, which has to cancel with negative 180. So this would have to be negative 30x. This would have to be negative 150x squared, which means this has to be positive 150x squared. And this is our factored form. It's 6 plus 5x 
times 36 minus 30x plus 25x squared.